in the silent darkness of the mid-ocean, where sunlight has been extinct for millions of years, Chaliatus danoe glides like a living razor. This rare viperfish species is built from the ground up for survival in a world of crushing pressure and absolute scarcity. Every adaptation it carries is a lesson in evolutionary engineering, the kind of biological precision that feels almost unfair when compared to its prey. Its signature weapon is the pair of impossible fangs, teeth so disproportionately long that they curve around the skull when the mouth closes. Unlike the exaggerated horror movie imagery often associated with deep-sea predators, these fangs are not for intimidation. Their function is purely mechanical, pinning high-speed, soft-bodied prey in an environment where missing a single meal can mean death. The jaw hinge is loosely articulated, allowing an almost unhinging movement reminiscent of snakes, but driven by entirely different evolutionary pressures. The real shock lies not in the fangs but in the photophores, tiny, perfectly arranged organs that emit cold blue light. Chaliatus danae uses them like a tactical toolkit. Some photophores mimic the faint, ambient glow of the ocean above, cloaking its silhouette. Others flash in controlled pulses to lure zooplankton and small fish closer. Scientists suspect that a particular row of ventral photophores might even communicate species-specific patterns, a primitive form of deep-sea language, though this hypothesis remains under investigation. A strange detail hides along its vertebral column. The musculature surrounding the swim bladder is reduced compared to other mid-water fish. Because C. Danley hunts in a vertical range spanning hundreds of meters, it cannot rely on a gas-filled bladder that would require constant pressure adjustment. Instead, it evolved a lipid-based buoyancy system, a metabolic trick using specialized fats that resist compression. This adaptation allows the viperfish to ascend rapidly during nightly migrations without tearing itself apart internally. Genetically, the species carries an unusually high expression of Rh1 opsin, the gene responsible for rod-based low-light vision. While most fish have a single rhodopsin variant, C. danoe expresses multiple spectral sensitivities within the same gene family. This grants it a visual edge, sensing subtle wavelengths of bioluminescent flashes invisible to many other predators. In the resource-starved deep, information is currency, and this creature is rich. A short but haunting anecdote from research submersibles tells of a lone Chaliatus danae approaching the external lights during a 900-meter descent. Instead of attacking, it hovered motionless, adjusting its angle repeatedly, almost reading the artificial illumination. Researchers noticed it used its dorsal photophore array to dim and brighten in response, perhaps interpreting the submersible as a bioluminescent competitor. This behavior demonstrated something unexpected, an ability to modulate signals consciously, possibly based on learned patterns rather than simple reflex. Every aspect of this fish's biology reinforces a single theme. In the deep sea, survival belongs to those who master energy. Minimal movement, maximum precision, even digestion is optimized. Its stomach can expand to several times its resting size, allowing rare large meals to sustain it for weeks. If this creature existed in a tier zoo-like meta, Chaliatus danae would be a glass cannon ambush billed with estier sensory perks, optimized for a biome where almost nothing else can afford to be so specialized. Evolution sculpted it through scarcity, sharpening it into a blade that moves through water with the silence of an idea forming in the dark. Support helps me continue creating deep dives into extraordinary species like this. Drop a like, subscribe, and lend your support to keep this exploration alive. As Carl Sagan once wrote, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. In the abyss, Chaliatus danae proves that even the darkest corners of Earth glow with secrets waiting for those who dare to look.